The scent factor label problem gets a little bit trickier because we're given a lot more information than we were when than we were given in some of the previous examples. This one tells you puppy chow costs $2.50 per kilogram. You have $10 to buy puppy chow for your new puppy. And the vet tells you she should be fed 50 grams of food per serving. Wants to know how many servings of puppy chow you can buy. It's so we've got three numbers here and we have to decide, well, which one of those three is the given? How do you know where to start the problem? This is a little hint that's going to help you a lot throughout the year. Whenever you see the word per, or if when you are reading a number out loud, if you were to say per something else, that's going to be a conversion factor, not a given. So this $2.50 per kilogram, I'm going to write that in as a conversion factor. I'm going to say $2.50 equals a kilogram. Then we have $10 and 50 grams of food per serving. That's another conversion factor. So I'm going to write that 50 grams equals a serving. That must mean that the $10 is our given. Usually the given has the simpler units. When you have multiple units, dollars and kilograms, grams and servings, those are usually your conversion factors. So we're looking for how many servings of puppy chow we can buy. All factor label problems, they always start with whatever your given is over the number one. So $10 over the number one. We want our dollars to cancel out and go away, so we need to find a conversion factor with dollars in it. This guy right here tells us there's $2.50 per kilogram. Since I want the $2, the dollars part to cancel out, I'm going to put that part on the bottom, $2.50. The one kilogram part's going to go up at the top. So our dollar sign and dollar sign can cancel. If we stopped right now, we would know how many kilograms of food we could buy with our $10, but we're not done yet. It wants servings of food that we could buy. So we have to get our kilograms into servings somehow. Well, we don't have a conversion factor that gives us kilograms to servings, but we do have one that gives us grams to servings. So if we could get our kilograms into grams, then we could use this grams to servings link. A conversion factor that you will want to know, if you don't know it already, is that there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. You're going to use that one a lot this year. So we could link these guys together. We want our kilograms to cancel out this time. So I'm going to take the kilograms part of that conversion factor, put it at the bottom. 1,000 grams will go up at the top. That gets us a little bit closer to our servings because our kilograms can cancel. I'm at grams. I need to get to servings, and I have a grams to servings link. I'm going to put the 50 grams on the bottom, one serving up on top, Grams and grams can cancel out. Then we would do 10 times 1 times 1,000 up on the top. 1 times $2.50 times 1 times 50 on the bottom. Simplify. After you multiply, do a little division. Your answer should turn out to be 80 servings worth of food.